Welcome back to Adopt the DIYers. Today we're on the uh, CNC machine again. Um, I had an idea and I've been seeing a lot of people doing it and I want to give it a try. Uh, it's work on PVC. Um, it's this sheeting you can get at Home Depot. Uh, I picked that one up for $46, two foot by four foot. I cut it in half obviously and I painted it black. So uh, I'll give you a close up for, with it before I run it but I'm gonna be carving two street signs out of it and they're both oriented, one's oriented vertically and one's oriented horizontally. And um, I'm actually doing this for uh, my customers as well because they're curious, you know, it would be nice for me to be able to make something like that for them and offer it. So let's, uh, let's get this one going. I'm also working on another video. Um, it'll be right after this one. I'm probably gonna load them both today. I'm gonna try anyway. Um, I'm gonna be making these custom shelves for um, what a Valentine's Day. It's going to be like a little Valentine's special and uh, it should be pretty cool. So look out for that too. But uh, let's get this one going. Alright, this is probably a little better picture. That front camera is terrible. <laughs> but um, this is the, let me get up and over. This is a piece of PVC. I got it cut in a two foot section by two foot section. Got it painted black with just regular spray Krylon black. And I plan on clear coating it after I'm done. So if you see blotchiness, it'll disappear once I coat it because it's black black. So but, uh, let's get well, it. Well, unfortunately, I got some bad news, but this camera I'm working with didn't show me that I was not recording. So I lost that part. I'm, some, I'm so sorry. I, I thought I was recording while I did it. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it cut out. Um, I'm running an eighth inch end mill upcut. I figured I'd do it the safe way because I've never cut this stuff before. So I could have done an advanced V with the carving, you know, and it would have kind of came down nice and uh, flat bottom. But I've never worked with this, so I wanted to use something that I knew would work. And I've been hearing a lot that um, your upcut end mills work the best. So what I did was I just set up a pocket pass and I carved that out. And again, I am so sorry that I forgot to press record on that. But we're going to really record this one this time. We're going to cut it out and you'll see what I got going on the top of this. On the side here is going to be the numbers. It's actually going to be in a shape. And then up there, they're going to be up top here going. And it'll just be the shape of it. But it should come out pretty good at the end here. So uh, let's get to carving. Okay, let me get a little bit of this mess cleaned up and we'll uh, we'll see if we can pop them out. I'm going to try not to bump the camera while I'm cutting the tabs. <laughs> I'm not even going to take them out of the clamps. I'm going to try to just pull them out as you see it, as soon as I can find the tabs. <laughs> okay, there's one. That's not too bad. Seems to cut right through that pretty good, too. That's where the glue is. So it's a little harder to cut. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna have to flip this thing over to cut the tabs. <laughs> They're packed full of plastic in there, PVC, you know, the material. 
and you can't see where the tabs are so I'm gonna flip this thing over to cut them so I'll be right back oh look at that I almost got this thing cut out Let me keep working at it for a second here Use plenty of tabs. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, gotta be kind of careful because it's only painted with Krylon paint, so you can scratch it pretty easy, but not too bad. Let me uh, cut these sections out. I'm gonna set this one aside. Boy, I'm here to tell you, man, I am liking this stuff. I really am. Um, it, it gets a really clean bottom to it. Look inside of there, see that? It's like, there. you can see the lines, but not really. It's not terrible at all. Not at all. So that's how that one came out. Pretty sharp, right? I'll have a picture at the end of the video of me holding both of them up. So, set that one aside and we'll work on this one we'll cut this one out now like I said I use tabs so you gotta cut them out of the tabs using a utility knife and it goes through this stuff like butter it's just you gotta locate where it's at right there there we go And this ain't even a brand new knife. stuff's expensive but boy does it look nice when it's done I'm digging it I am definitely digging it you know you got to clean it up and cut the tabs off and stuff but let's get the sweeper after that real quick very very light brush <laughs> so I don't scratch that paint I'll be clearing over this so it's gonna be a little tougher than what it is right now for sure There you go. CNC house signs on the long mill out of PVC. You can buy right at Home Depot these sheets. Two foot by four foot or four foot by eight foot in my local area. So uh, it's definitely a good little project. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to clean this mess up I just made. And I'm going to get to making the shelf video. So stick around for that one. Alrighty folks, have a good day. Hey, thanks again guys for tuning in and uh, <clears throat> watching this little video. Again, sorry about the pocket thing. I totally forgot to hit the record button. I'm trying to get used to this new thing. Um, hopefully you got something from it, something usable at least. And um, I would say if you want to give this PVC a try, go ahead and give it a try. Just uh, make sure, watch your heat. You don't want to run the bit too slow or your router too fast or you'll melt the plastic and it's just not a pretty thing. So um, I'll end the video here and uh, as always, thanks again for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see further videos. I'll give you a little video close up of these when I'm done here.